Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. The Embassy of Brazil would like to welcome you to this musical concert as we continue the celebration of the bicentennial of the Brazilian independence. Please make sure that all cell phones are set to silent mode. We now invite Ambassador Nestor Foster to say a few words. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our beautiful residence. Uh, I want to begin by acknowledging the presence uh, of Congressman Ricardo Barros, who gives us the honor of his presence here to, uh, to tonight, with former Governor Sida Borghetti from the state of Paraná, and uh, friends, colleagues from the Diplomatic Corps, and uh, from the administration, State Department, and, uh, and other places here. Thank you very much for being here tonight. Uh, we are going to continue uh, with this concert, the series we started uh, on uh, the month of September last year, inaugurating the celebration of the bicentennial of Brazilian independence. Ambassador McKinney, I haven't seen you. Welcome. Uh, so great to have you all here. So tonight we're gonna have the third, uh, the third concert of this series, and once again, the music selected was selected by conductor Daniel Lima, who has been working with us, and he's from the state of Pará, in the region of Amazon in Brazil, and it's from the Amazon that uh, comes the inspiration for the program we have uh, tonight before you. Uh, as you know, the Amazon rainforest uh, and the creative genius of its people gave birth to a very rich uh, cultural heritage. Tonight's program will feature two composers who are from the Amazon. The first one, contemporary one, uh, is a lady called Sibeli Jonza, a young composer from the city of Belém. And uh, she er recently earned her master's degree in orchestral conducting at Ithaca College in New York. Also hailing from the Amazon is Claudio Santoro, one of Brazil's greatest musical masters of the 20th century. The program presents two other figures with strong ties to the Amazon, Carlos Gomez, a 19th century composer, and Heitor Villalobos. As major exponents of the Brazilian musical tradition, I believe neither requires a further introduction. Before performing for us this evening are four talented study, uh, students from the Peabody Institute in Baltimore, the oldest music conservatory in the United States. They are the vi violinists Claire Hybeson and Nicole Avila, uh, violist Rachel Rise, and cellist Mafalda Santos. I thank them for their hard work and dedication in preparing for this concert. A final note on the cover of the program you have before you, you can see a painting of 18th century Dutch master Franz Post, uh, whose landscapes portray life in colonial Brazil. This work is now on exhibit at the National Gallery of Art. It belongs to the collection of the Catholic University of America Oliveira Lima Library. Uh, the library is the greatest Brazilian cultural treasure in the United States. I recommend you all pay a visit there if you haven't been there yet. With that, I want to wish you all a great concert and invite you all to welcome the, our young musicians. Thank you.
Dyson. Uh, this is Nicole, Rachel, and Mafalda. Thank you so much for having us here today. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the program. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. 